In Matthew 24, 12, the Messiah told his disciples that in the end days, the love of many will begin to wax cold because of the increase in lawlessness. So because there's lawlessness in the land, meaning people are not walking by and obeying the law to love the Most High and to love each other, because that becomes the norm of our environment, as we are seeing more and more today, that people's love will begin to wax cold more and more. So, so because you're in that environment, right? You all, you even if you are not, uh, you are not one who is being lawless, being in the environment with of lawlessness, where people are, you know, having loveless acts and not not submitting themselves in a way that keeps that fire burning. It puts you in a situation where it's hard to stay ignited, right? You have to be able to, to be around others who are keeping that flame going so that you can also keep that flame going within you. And if you're constantly coming in contact with coldness, then what, what happens when the environment gets cold? We start to become cold. So you have to, you have to not only um, um, keep from generating that coldness within yourself, you have to also uh, find a way to actively stay warm, <laughs> stay warm, stay ignited with the fire of Yah's love, right? So in the book, Remnant Love, I talk about four different flows of love, you know, so I want to ask you the question today, and I'm going to talk about each one of those flows. And the question is, are you becoming cold in any of these areas? Have you noticed that you are becoming a little lukewarm, becoming a little cold, that your fire is not burning as much when it comes to each one of these areas. So the first area is in receiving love from the Most High, receiving Yah's love, receiving what the Most High has, has given us and is continually flowing to us, His love. Are you, are you um, able to receive what He gives us of His Spirit? Are you receptive to His Spirit, to His Word? Are you receptive to Messiah, right? To Messiah and the life that we have in him. Are you receptive to the Most High's correction, right? Is he able to correct you? Are you still hearing him, hearing that correction? Are you still sensitive to it and, and moving and changing in regards to what you hear from him, right? So are you still receiving uh, the Most High's forgiveness, right? Have you? Are you constantly being renewed in forgiveness, and going to him for that or have you gotten to a cycle where you're not coming into repentance where you're not you're coming under condemnation right where you're you're getting away from uh that correction because you are falling under condemnation and not receiving his forgiveness right are you receiving uh his his grace and his empowerment to be able to uh, allow yourself to the 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 atmosphere of growth Right? Are you receiving his truth? Are you receiving everything that the Most High has given to us freely through the set apart spirit um, and being able to be a partaker of their fruit, the, the, the joy, the peace, right? The, the process of healing and deliverance that he has for us. Are you freely receiving that? Right? Are you, are you able to receive from Yah or have you gotten into circumstances that have gotten you distracted? Have you faced some trials or disappointments that have taking you off track where you're not feeling like Yah is with you you're not feeling his presence you're not feeling um in 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 a place where you're where, where you're still believing and trusting in him and in, in the call that he has for your life the purpose that he has for your life the the um all that he has placed in you and invested in you through your walk with him are you still uh on fire with that or have you given up in certain respects have you backed down have you become cold in 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 that area at all so something to examine within yourself have you become cold when it comes to your relationship with yah and receiving his love are there any barriers that are that are blocking that reception because we know we know when we stop receiving love from yah we start to uh uh wait waver in the second area which is responding to yah's love because when when we are receptive and fully receiving all that he's given to us, it keeps us on fire. It keeps us in the spirit of gratitude, in the spirit of responsiveness to his spirit and wanting to uh, lay down our lives and do and move 
according to what he what he calls us to do right but when we come out of that flow we begin to compromise we begin to uh, become lukewarm we begin to uh, slow down with our spiritual disciplines we begin to to not be in a place where we're able to to respond to his desires for us in our life right so are you have you noticed that you begun begun to become lukewarm in your walk and responding to the most high's love so that's the second area and the third area the third flow is is your love towards yourself that is that is flowing from the most high Yah's love so we're guarding the love that love relationship and flow that we're standing and walking in with the most high we're guarding that by guarding his temple guarding the temple of the most high Yah. So have you have you slacked off in guarding your temple, guarding your gateways, and what's coming in uh, through through your through your ear gates and your eye gates and through your mouth, <laughs> through your, the gate of your stomach, through your sexuality, everything that um, that 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 we're able to receive from? Are you not guarding your gateways? Have you are you not guarding what's coming out of your mouth and what's coming out of your spirit? Are you are you lacking in those areas? Are you not taking care of yourself? Are you not uh, uh, guarding your time and your and your boundaries and the things that you need to guard to be able to be at your best and, and to be able to walk in uh, excellence according to who he has called you to be right have you lacked in that area are you slacking in that area are you growing cold in, in that love towards yourself to where you're not living up to all that you know that the most high has invested within you and the fourth area is our love relationship and extending extending this love towards others, others in the body of Mashiach, others who we encounter. Have you found yourself getting cold to where you're no longer you're no longer extending that warmth to other people, to where you've been hurt or you've you've gone through betrayal or disappointments where you're 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 you know you may be going through you know sometimes we go through a, a season of healing where we have to kind of back off but have you found that you've just backed off completely where you're no longer engaging with people you're no longer pursuing relationship you're no longer uh, uh getting involved with people past the surface level you're not willing to to help people out anymore you're not willing to get your hands dirty and get involved anymore you just stay back you stay cool you stay a distance and you're no longer on fire because you've seen so many situations and so many uh uh you know uh betrayals and so many things happening that you just kind of backed off from it have you grown cold in that area and we have to stay stay on fire in all of these areas and maintain this fire of love yeah because we are Yah's remnant right if we are called by Yah, we are his remnant we are his hands and his feet in this earth right now we we host his spirit within us and he's doing his work through his remnant through his people so we have to maintain ourselves as a living sacrifice right and, and and keep ourselves before him on his altar to be able to be the, the royal priesthood to be his priest in the earth to to be able to um to touch his people right and we have to maintain our relationship with him and maintain our work work in uh, being able to be lights in the earth hallelujah so ask yourself have you grown cold in any of these four areas the foundation is our recept our, our ability to receive y'all's love right and not allowing anything to block that and coming to coming to uh uh cause that to, to be disconnected right and and everything else flows from that from that flows our obedience and our faith in him and our our guarding of what he's cultivated in us and then us being able to extend that to others so ask yourself, um, you know, I just want to present that to you to encourage you to, to if you find that you are lacking in any of those areas or that your, your fire is not, the fire is, is almost going out. You know, he, the, he, we were encouraged um, to not allow our fire <laughs> to go out, right? To not allow our oil to dwindle out, right? To, to keep our, our lamp burning. We were encouraged um, by the Messiah to do that. So that we are not found lacking when he, when he comes and that we are found continuing to occupy and do the work uh, that he's called us to. To not forget our first love, right? And to continue in those works. So I just want to encourage you today to continue and to pray to the ask the most high. We have to continually be in the place of repentance and 
ourselves, examining ourselves, repentance and and uh, healing and deliverance. We have to constantly be in that space and that place. So uh, if you've gone off from that, return to it and and uh, you know I encourage you to return to it and and allow the Most High to show you what's what's in the way so that you can continue to grow. So I go through all these areas in, in the book, Remnant Love. If you haven't checked out the book yet, Remnant Love is at remnantlovebook.com. And um, you can also check it out on Amazon. And I wanted to just leave that with you today to, to ask yourself, am I growing cold? And we don't want to be in the number of those who are growing cold because then we become in that number that those who are increasing in lawlessness. We become lawless because now we're not walking in the law, law of love towards the most high and towards each other um and we don't want to be there so be encouraged and go before the most high yah and ask him to reignite your fire and to show you where you are um with him in your love walk hallelujah yah bless you shalom shalom